Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm a so good. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you too. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Did you celebrate your New Year? Um, I celebrated my New Year in England with my family and my boyfriend. Okay. Uh, you were in uh, other country, I think, uh, when last time we, we had a talk. Yes, when did we last? I think I was in Mexico last time we spoke. Yes, I was. Um, I was in Mexico still, but we decided to come back to England for... Oh, sorry. Uh, we decided to come back to England for the holidays um, just to spend, like, Christmas and stuff with my family. Obviously, it was a bit of a long year, so we thought it'd be nice to end the year together. Oh, great. <laughs> How are you feeling after a long time you come back to your home? It's, re it's really, really nice to be home again. It was really nice to see, like... <laughs> My brother and my parents and my brother's fiance, my family, you know, it was really nice to see them all again. Um, it was a bit of a strange feeling um, where first getting home, uh, quarantining, adjusting, but um, it's really, really good to be home, even if we are now in lockdown. Okay, uh, so uh, during our festivals, uh, also uh, you were in quarantine. Uh, no, so we got back. Um, we got back on the thirteenth of, um, of December, which means that we were out of quarantine on the twenty okay. third of December. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, which was really nice. Um, to you know, we we were able to share it with three households over on Christmas Day, so we could see some of my other family members, which was really nice because I obviously haven't seen them for a while either. Okay, how long you were in? Uh, I uh, where you were in Mexico. Yep, so we left England in March, um, the beginning of March, and we went to Thailand. Uh, um, and then I moved to Mexico in February, and then we came to England in December. Okay, it's a quite a long time, I think. Uh, yeah, nearly 10 months. Nine to 10 months. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was really um, nice to come back. And how was your New Year's? What did you do? Uh, I didn't do much uh, because of pandemic uh, parties and all those things were not allowed outside. So we were at home only with the parents and siblings. Mm -hmm. So we celebrate at home and in a very simple manner. Yeah, no, that's really nice. You know, like ours wasn't anything like too big because we kept within the guidelines you know we could mix three households and that's what we did and then we literally went into lockdown at midnight on christmas day into boxing day it's kind of like cinderella you know like at midnight the party ends yes <laughs> so i think today we'll have to choose a topic to talk i just thought that uh, uh, it's been a long time I talked to you, so I book lesson with you. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, do you want me to close down this lesson plan? I can get rid of it yes. if you want. Yes, yes, yes. We will gossip on other topics. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> just makes it just means I can I can clear it instead of it sitting there for the whole call. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, so I just want to uh, talk today on the. Uh, how you uh, spend your uh, uh, daily life uh, uh, routine uh, like um, in India uh, it's a female's responsibility that she'll take care of family kids her in-laws and uh, male take uh, all the responsibility of financial uh, stuff uh, it's it's obligation of that male 
to earn money and uh, uh, run his family financially and other responsibilities of female so is it same in uh, england or is it's a different means uh, financial responsibilities are of uh, both male and female then who take care of house like cooking and uh, other household stuff and uh, care, uh, caring of other uh, family members so i just want to know it's yeah. i was curious but i didn't ask anyone i had just thought that yeah. i'll talk to you <laughs> no that's fine like um england i think you know there are still people who do the women do the children and men do the money that is still you know a possibility but generally i think nowadays in the uk things are much more even like you know it's generally split pretty evenly both parents work the you know most people i know both their parents work i don't particularly know many people who are a stay at home like or who have a stay at home mum um and like which is what you would call it when the mother doesn't work you call them or the father if it's a stay at home parent um and yeah it's you know generally i believe now that things like the cleaning are split the cooking is split child rearing is split so i mean when both of the parents are at work children have to go into like um preschool or have someone that can look after them but england is a very expensive country so <laughs> generally things need to be kind of you know you need to have both parents working to keep the money coming in yes so both are working and uh, 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 means, uh, household responsibilities of both parents like cooking and all those things am i right yeah i mean generally it could be said that in some places it's women do that does cook more often but i think that's becoming less and less true in the uk like it with me and my boyfriend in our house he does most of the cooking and i don't i i will like i'm not very good at cooking and he is so oh, nice. i think in more definitely modern households as well it's generally more even or less it's less like the woman's duty and more who can who wants to do it or who can be bothered to do the cooking instead of it being like okay well that's what i feel i should do it's what i want to do why i ask this question because uh, i have uh, seen a uh, few families uh, that uh, they were rich or uh, um means uh, mail was uh, running whole uh, financial responsibilities and female were taking care of uh, other stuff but unfortunately that uh, male uh, person died due to some reason i have seen two three cases mm. and after that uh, that uh, female was unable to go out and uh, do all the things uh, for his kids like purchasing and some major decisions so it was it was quite hard and few families uh, they were not uh, rich but uh, like uh, middle class but after her husband's death that lady was unable to uh, work outside because she she didn't have any experience and um, uh, she hadn't gone out and uh, did something her own so it was a it 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 it's a disaster for that lady uh, so i thought that uh, since beginning uh, a lady should handle uh, financial part as well and or, or it should be a equal responsibility first thing another thing i i just uh, uh, watch in my family uh, like if a maid uh, <laughs> didn't come then it's 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 like a big disaster for um, household work like a uh, uh, male in our family like my father my brother they'll get up but they'll not make their beds and uh, even ac or fan is on or lights of that room <laughs> are on they'll not uh, bother to switch off those things because oh. they are completely dependent on others so if i uh, means it's this lifestyle is not good that every time we are depend on maid and uh, 
um, servants. So uh, sometimes I feel that it's a bad habit. We are not asking them to uh, cook something, but at least those uh, small things they should uh, do themselves, but they do not. And uh, cooking, no question. <laughs> Sometimes my brother make tea, but my father, he don't know even how to um, switch on the gas. Yeah, it's one of those things that like my boyfriend, he's not uh, like messy, but he's not as, I said you're not messy and he's not as clean but he's not as clean as I am so like <laughs> in the morning so when we were in Mexico um I used to work in the living room and then like <coughs> to my left used to be like a hallway and I could see the bed uh, if our bedroom door was open and he would get up in the morning and he would not make the bed like instantly and like I know he'd do it eventually, but like I would be working and I would just be like looking at this unmade bed and it would be annoying me because I'd be like, oh, it's just like just make the bed, you know? <laughs> and he does, he does do it. I have to give credit where credit is due. He will do it, just not as quickly as I want it done. <laughs> and he will do the washing up, but only you know he wants to sit down for a bit and then he'll do it but i want it done as soon as dinner as soon as we finish dinner because otherwise it's just he's sitting there annoying me you know <laughs> but he does most of the cooking in our house i'm generally not very good at it and currently we've been moving around so much he hasn't been working as much as i have so I've been working more and he's been doing the cooking. So it's kind of like a typical role reversal, I guess. Okay. So there is uh, there is no discrimination that that particular things should do by male or these particular tasks should do by female. I think it, it's equal in your country. Yeah, I think there are those stereotypes, uh, like those stereotypes placed on people. Uh, you know, like the stereotypical female job and stereotypical male job, they do exist uh, and they are in, you know, they are in the culture as well. They are in places and I do not believe that they are fully gone, but I do think it is starting to, to change more. Like being a stay at home mother now, I think is more uncommon than it is or a stay at home parent you know it doesn't need to be the mother i think it is more uncommon but i don't think it's a bad thing at all i you know like it's just different ways of people thinking like i don't know if i would want to be a stay-at-home parent all the time but i might do when i have kids i just don't know i don't have them to make that judgment you know so, but I don't think they are, it's like doesn't exist in this culture, but I do think it is less common nowadays and people are starting, to, it's more natural for people to share the, the burden of it. Because honestly, if I did the cooking and the cleaning and then I was working too and I was doing it all on my it's own. It's not possible. It's not possible. Yeah. Because when made a uh, maid didn't come in our house, th then everyone is having their own work. So it's not possible to do things for others. No. Even I for me, it's not possible because I, I always run out of time. Yeah. And it's not possible to do anything for yourself or anything you enjoy either. If, I think if you've got all of that burden on, on just you, you know, when do you have the time for you? You know, isn't there always something that you, you feel like it needs to be done? You know, it could be you could get home from or even if it's, you know, uh, if you're a stay at home parent and you know, you spend all day trying to sort out the kids and then you're cleaning up after them and then you're making breakfast, lunch or dinner, cleaning up after that. Clean, you know, it must be very, it's it's a full-time job in itself. Yes. Okay, I, I'd like to ask a um, second question mm -hmm. that uh, I have heard before also I had uh, some teacher this uh, question, someone. Uh, again, I want to... Um, 
uh, answer in a little bit elaborate, elaborate manner. Uh, you uh, girls or boys uh, turn 18 your parents expect you to move out and start living separately. Is it true? Um, I wouldn't say at 18, no. I'd say 18 is quite young. Um, you know, um, I know lots of people who are still living at home and we're like, you know, around the 22, 23 age. Um, this is sort of the age I feel like where people start to kind of break off and get their independence. but. Most people go to university and then they will probably move out to university. But after university, they're going to have no money or anything. So they'll probably need to move back home. Um, so I don't think 18 is like, why haven't they moved out yet? In my opinion, 18 is still quite young to move out full time and not to like university, you know? And I have watched the same thing in a video of uh, a British lady. Mm -hmm. She was saying that, uh, I think I think 50 weird things about British uh, something title was there. And she had said that our parents expect us to move or they'll kick out. <laughs> At 18? I think 18, I yeah. think. Yeah, no, in my opinion, that's young. Like, you know, most people do generally move out about around that age to go to university, you know, people will go to university far away or university halls or something like that to, you know, to try and get some independence. But after university, I think I think you people start working from your high school because uh, uh, just to know, uh, just to take our own responsibilities means part time job in malls or uh, like a bar or hotels kind of things. Yeah, uh, because because we Indian people are so lazy uh, till getting married some uh, male uh, do not start working and parents thought that after marriage uh, he may change or he may start working some sometime it happens <laughs> I I got my first job at 16 oh great yeah I you can start working from the UK at 16 you have like a limited amount of hours that you can do but and the pay is really low but yeah the working age uh people in the uk generally start working ish around 16. okay i think it's a it's a good idea means uh, male or female uh they they may get a sense of responsibility and uh, they they get uh, active by uh, body and then brain that uh, yeah we have to work we have to earn for ourselves mm -hmm. otherwise uh, one may be um, become adult, idle <laughs> like yeah. our Indian kids yeah I think that um, definitely teaches you kind of responsibility from that age you know at 16 you're still um, a bit immature and it meant that I had to be on ready on time for my shift and you have to work hard, learn different responsibilities and then you have uh, money for yourself and having money for yourself is like a real achievement at an age like that. Yeah, a sense of responsibility then uh, it's a good exposure for the external environment, how to deal with the uh, external world, how yes. to yeah. uh, tackle our problems, how to handle money, yeah, how to save money. So I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I completely agree. Honestly, like at that age, you know, you heavily relying on your parents for pretty much everything. Um, and once you start to have some money of your own, you know, you can buy things yourself, and it allows you. It gives you this extra bit of freedom when you don't have to ask your parents that money you know you get your first paycheck and it's like oh my goodness I had so much money and it's a real <laughs> sense of achievement and uh, just I think waiting until later in life to do that you know you don't learn about kind of the outside world as quickly and I think it reduces burden of parents as well yeah it, I think so it you know kept me out of the house every Saturday and Sunday. I was working 
I was working in a clothing shop for a year and a half. And for the most, for the, I did enjoy it, but at the same time, my like, you know, you get to learn about mean bosses because most jobs when you get when you're that age, the bot, you know, that hire people that young, they're generally not the best jobs. So my first boss was like really mean. She hated me. I don't know why, but she really hated me. Um, and yeah, but I got to meet new people. I think a place to really make new friends is work. And I still have a couple of friends from that job. And I worked there when I was 16. Oh, that's nice. So <laughs> it's like nearly seven years ago that I worked there, but I still got friends that I talk to from there because you, I don't know, I feel like your relationship with work friends is just different to anything else. You have a different kind of relationship with work friends. Yes, yes, because because you have seen some good uh, things, some bad things, some bad incidences, yeah. happy moments <laughs> together. So definitely yeah. it's a different relationship than others. Yeah. So tell me something from your side, what is different thing? What are the different things uh, in your culture? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like uh, generally, from what I've heard, I don't know. From what I, there's a lot more kind of difference in the way that things are done. I was going to say freedom, but that's the wrong word. I just mean like people the ability to go out and do something. Like you were. Like you were saying, generally, girls more stay at home, or and we were saying last time with like boyfriends and girlfriends, it's not so common. And yeah, I just think the way that things like the relationship between men and women and how they're looked at and are different. I think that's kind of if I'm. If I'm thinking about it, that seems to, from the different people that I've spoken to, be like the main difference. So I think the core values of all cultures are exactly the same, you know, like the way we love our family, the way we want to help them, and these are all the same. I think it's just like the inner workings of it is what's different. What do you think? Uh, yeah, your, your sound is breaking a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, I thought that uh, there is a big difference comparatively our Indian culture and British culture. We females do not have much freedom. Even though we are earning good money or we are on a good position, we have uh, so many restrictions. In metro city, in city kind of uh, place, its scenario is different, but uh, for small town girls or uh, just average city, yeah, those uh, restrictions are yeah. Um, it's it's it's, it's uh, invisible. I uh, means uh, elders will not tell us, and uh, we will not ask. But uh, indirectly, we have accepted those things, and uh, our elder family members expect from us yeah. not to do certain things, and uh, we also have ac uh, accepted those things. For example, in the evening, we will not go out, and uh, without family or friends or very close friends, not un oh, we cannot travel with unknown friends. Like unknown means not for us unknown. Suppose I have a good and uh, my family uh, doesn't know her. Going with male, <laughs> no question, will not allow. But even with female friends as well, they should know each and everything about that uh, female friend as well. Then only we can go out with them. Wow and uh, they'll keep in touch with us and kind of things so yeah we don't have that um, that much freedom like uh, you people yeah i that from what i've uh, learned about the different cultures that's kind of the biggest difference i see i i've felt as well um you know like i I left my country and went traveling with a boy. Like, I feel like that would never happen <laughs> in, or is really uncommon in places maybe like India. But yes. Yeah. From, and do you feel like anything is 
changing? Do you feel like these dyna- dynamics that you have at the moment, do you think they could change over time or do you think that it's very unlikely? Scenario is changing in metro cities, not in small cities or small towns, not at all. And it may take so long to change, but uh, it's changing. <laughs> And are you are you are you on board with the change? Are you happy? It sounds like you are. Sounds like you're you're happy with it, and you would like this change to just to even yes, if it's, yes yeah. I expect yes I expect I'm it I'm I'm independent no problem but I have seen few families unfortunately they face some disaster and it's it's very difficult for the female how to handle the families and how long other people will yeah at the age of 35 or 40 she has two kids uh, uh, growing kids and uh, their needs are um, uh, different uh, how to choose their colleges uh, to send them or how to deal with their financial needs and all those kind of things so they are unable yeah. they are unable to handle they have to ask for the help of their other relatives their close relatives but uh, each and everyone have their own responsibilities so it's not possible for uh, everybody to help someone so i thought that uh, it's it's necessary to uh, give them uh, freedom up to a certain level means if anything happen in their life uh, they can live independently yeah i mean it- you know it's like people in the uk the divorce rate in england is very high it's like uh one in two couples i think get a divorce and so that means a lot of single parenting so you Mm -hmm. know as a single parent you've got to raise those kids you've got to go to work you've got to pay the bills you've got to make sure i think i think female female parent may take responsibility of kids am i right it depends on the situation. It is more common, generally speaking, for the female to have custody of the children and the, you know, the father have part time. But that's obviously not always the case. Sometimes the it it they can go with the father. It depends on the situation. But generally speaking, they will go with the mother because uh, kids are more attached to their mother. I think. Yeah, I think it, it is the general. In, in India, in India, mm, kids, even a, a, a girl or a boy, uh, both are more attached to their mother. Uh, I that... don't know about your country, but it must be. Do you think that's because the mothers are generally the ones at home parenting? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it depends on the situation that these people are in, you know. People in the UK can be in any kind of situation. Um, It's harder to define, I think. But generally speaking, the kids will end up living with with the mother more more often than not, I think. Um, There obviously are some cases where they do live with the father, but yeah, not quite as common. And one more uh, difference is that I think you have drink culture, but it's not allowed yeah. in my country. Female do not drink, male do, but uh, female, it's, it's not so common. Yeah. yeah, drink culture in the UK is a big thing. Like everyone drinks all the time, you know, like with the bars being closed, everyone's like, oh, what do we do kind of thing. It's, uh, <laughs> what do we do with ourselves? How do we entertain ourselves? So women are not allowed to drink at all in India? No, not at all. If she drinks, she's a bad woman or she, uh, she means they'll, they'll uh, give, him, uh, give her so many bad names. Wow. I, I didn't know that, but the men can. Yes. Wow. Not all. Not all. Uh, a few people means uh, I think I, I don't know exact percentage, but it's not so common for male as well. Yeah. But if they wanted to, would they be able to? Yeah, but their family always say, don't drink, don't do things, and don't don't do that. Even male drink, uh, they are not considered good person, good people. Yeah, yeah but it's it's not quite so bad if a woman did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I hope we are out of time, but it was so nice to see you again. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I hope okay. to see you soon and Happy New Year. Happy New Year too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, hope bye. To see you soon. Bye. Bye.